Volvo 5 cylinder reverse intercooler piping. So, 1994 Volvo 850 came out with the intercooler piping going above the engine. In 1995 this was however changed to the more indirect way of going around the engine. I have a <coughs> spark cover here to illustrate how the different pipes go. So, 94 the pipes went like this. Actually the most efficient way because you only have more or less one bend above the engine and it goes to the top side of the intercooler and when it comes back from underneath the intercooler it goes more or less straight to the intake. The, the issue with the 94 one is the bottom pipe. This was uh, in the early versions made out of uh, plastic and the plastic ones had these this type of structure and this is not really optimal for flow in any way to have a, have a non uh, smooth surface with the, with the inside the pipe this is uh, the pipe going from the air air filter box to the turbo but uh, you get the idea now after or actually already in 94 Volvo begin having issues with intercoolers freezing in uh, colder areas like the Nordic countries and basically where the temperature drops below freezing there you basically had had these issues and the <clears throat> they decided then to change the intercooler piping so that the hot air would enter uh, from the bottom side of the intercooler where the intercooler would freeze uh, and then it would basically melt if there is any moisture there or ice it would melt that and uh, cool along the way and exit on the top side the <coughs> this is from my car I used to have this I now have run the reverse intercooler piping but anyways so this is the pipe they came up with to replace this one 90 degree bent pipe and already here we see the issue that we have one two three four four 90 degree bends uh, if you want to visualize or, or think how how these compare uh, with each other then uh, basically think of this as a, as a road you have to drive on you have one 90 degree bend you don't only have to slow around for this bend and then you can go fast again but over here this is like uh, yeah you need to have uh, <laughs> good grip so this is basically if you want to have a um, quicker spool up on your turbo this is the way to go air will flow m better here because this pipe is, is less restrictive you could basically drive faster on this one than on this one but there is another reason also why Volvo ch tried, uh, decided to change the intercooler piping and that is for service. When uh, the Volvo mechanics had to change spark plugs they had to remove this cover. This is of course uh, not the pr plastic original one but you get the idea. Uh, when the original intercooler piping went above the engine they basically to change the spark plugs they had to remove the intercooler piping and then this cover to get to change the spark plugs. When you have the setup like this, then it is possible to actually get remove this uh, spark plug, plug cover without removing the intercooler piping. And yes, I know somebody will comment that it is possible with the reverse intercooler piping to remove this uh, water shield. Yeah, I'm, I'm calling it a water shield. Uh, the, the spark plug cover, let's call it that, uh, remove it without removing this pipe. It is possible, I do it myself, so it's just uh, fiddly, but it can be done. And then it's also a little bit depending on how deep or how long these extra pipes are. If it's just the right length, you can remove it. If it's longer, of course, you can remove it, but if it's, uh, it uses the factory, rubber here that connects to the turbo then it might be you might get an issue 
very quickly that it's just a tiny a bit too short to actually get this cover out. Now this cover I have seen that some people drive without it. Uh, that's not something I would recommend because I called it uh, a water cover a while ago. Uh, probably like a minute but I don't know how long your memory is. So <clears throat> When your engine gets uh, condensed water or if there is a situation where you can get water on top of your engine, this cover will divert the water and it will flow along the side and off the engine. If you don't have this, uh, the engine is more likely to get water into the spark plug holes and they will then, the spark might short out on the head instead of instead of uh, going to the spark plug. So uh, this actually has a very useful function to have this cover in place. So <clears throat> back to reverse intercooler piping. Volvo had this optimal configuration. They had issues with spark plug changing of them and freezing intercoolers. So they switched to this this type of scenario for the 850 on the Mark II V70 they moved back to reverse intercooler piping because they probably got some fix or were able to figure out how to not get freezing intercoolers. The other thing that they did as a service measure for the cars that actually had this uh, the new way for the intercooler piping and the old way is actually to drill a small hole in the middle of middle of the bottom in the intercooler. So if you look at your Volvo 850 intercooler from the bottom in the middle you will probably see there a, a hole that is one or two millimeters and this is basically so that uh, any water stuck down in the intercooler ca can be allowed while the engine's just stopped or it's a bit warm to actually drain out and also some some oil there. So <coughs> they drilled Basically, as a service measurement, they drilled a hole in everybody's intercoolers and uh, started selling cars, stopped selling cars actually with these pipes. And even for some 94 models, they, as a service measurement, changed the pipes to this new, new layout. So, if you want to have your own, reverse inter intercooler then uh, reversed intercooler piping then you can still locate these 94 models original ones at the junkyard there the this is of course the top top pipe but the lower pipe will be plastic and they are usually not to recommend because they are restrictive for for the flow so they will restrict restrict the amount of air because they have these uh, flexible portions. It would be much much nicer to have some sort of metal pipe with a smooth bend and since these are more or less all been dug out of the uh, dug out of the junkyards and they're getting harder and harder to find, it's probably better to go in for an aftermarket uh, reversed intercooler piping set. There are many who make them, you can actually make them yourself quite quite easily since it's just pipes and a few bends and then uh, get get your own reverse intercooler piping. The biggest benefit with the reversed intercooler piping is is you will get faster spool up because the air moves more freely. You won't uh, you won't get more peak horsepower but say in the low low range or middle range you might feel it or you might feel that you're Turbo pulls up more quickly, but I've never seen anybody who has dynoed a before and after with the exact same setup and just these pipings. And then another thing is that they actually look well. These are painted red, so this is not pretty anymore. But it's more the effect when you open your engine bay is bigger when you have this reverse intercooler piping. So that's one reason to fit it on a naturally aspirated. For, for the to fool somebody that you have actually a turbo. So I made a promise to myself that I would make this video short. I see we are running almost at 10 minutes. So I have failed you once again and I'm sorry for that. 
So, thank you, and uh, until next time, something, something. <laughs>